These are tough to swallow. Don't swallow it. Spit it out. What's up, Nick? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Thank you for having me. Uh, I, I have a question for you. Okay. Would you consider yourself a weak boy or a strong boy? Um, you know what? I'm feeling good today. I'm going to say I'm a strong boy. Well, you're wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, well, have you ever used uh, medications? Yeah, yeah, I have. You're a weak boy then, unfortunately. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to to have to let you know that. But today we're gonna learn how to get stronger together. Today we're gonna be looking at a TikToker called Coming Up Fern. Why I let my exclusively breastfed baby eat sticks, rocks, sand, dirt, and unsanitized shopping carts. In the last couple hundred years, the allopathic industry has taken the world by storm. This did not happen by accident. It happened after a series of billion dollar campaigns intended to shift the public's perspective on health. I do not fear bacteria. In fact, I welcome it. No, 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 no. I just feel so bad for this baby. But you know, she's just training him to be strong by putting rocks in his mouth, licking unsanitized shopping carts because you know, bacteria is natural. Yeah, yeah, it's, you have to welcome it if you want to be a strong boy. I'm mostly just like worried for the baby because of all the digestion issues that can happen from ingesting sand and the fact that there's all sorts of diseases in river water. It's also, I sh I'll get sick if I eat, drink river water now. Why would you give it to a baby who doesn't have a developed immune system? Yeah, I guess her perspective is that the way to develop your immune system is to drink the river water. Also, what is hashtag crunchy mom supposed to mean? I assumed it was just because she let her baby eat sand and rocks. That's basically it, but apparently there's a whole crunchy mama movement. a lot of things all of a sudden. There's a lot of things going on. A, a lot of fruit. Uh, I think mostly her diet is only fruit. I don't exactly understand what this has to do with being crunchy. Yeah. It, so she lives like a caveman is basically. Basically the idea of these people is that things were better during caveman time. Yeah. And so all of the advancements that we've made in medicine and all of the steps forward we've taken as a society mm -hmm. are bad. Yeah, apparently before 1920, one in 10 babies would just die. Yeah. It's it's honestly bad that babies live a lot more, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I can tell that because I see a dead child on the couch <laughs> in the background. Yeah, so apparently she uh, gave birth to her baby into the toilet. Um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for a second? Okay, so I think it says something about this lady that for about two seconds there, I legitimately thought she did because no no like, no she 100 percent did oh whoa yeah, wait no, what? no she actually Not like did the bathtub or something no like no she said no she said that she had her baby into the toilet i just used the toilet and then she just took like a pair of scissors <laughs> and just like cut the umbilical cord no 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 <laughs> yeah no i'm being 100 percent real I thought, <laughs> I thought you were just kidding no oh no gosh. no i'm being 100 percent real i trust nature and my baby it is not a coincidence babies have this instinct while they are breastfeeding. I don't think babies have the instinct to suck on rocks while they're breastfeeding. They have the yeah. instinct to suck on the breast, not They're looking for they're looking for boobies. They're not looking for rocks. They just don't <laughs> know any better because they're dumb babies. Yeah, it's a dumb baby. He thinks like, ooh, this rock looks yeah. like a booby, and that's why he's sucking on it. Yeah. And it's your job as a mom to give him <laughs> to give him booby, booby. not rocks. <laughs> No rocks. Here's Baby Fern's day at the park. Fern had to get his good eats in. So he's eating some wood chips. Eating or sucking? Uh, I don't know. She said she lets him eat rocks and dirt and sand and wood, so. This kid is gonna choke and die. Are you sick of your pediatrician not respecting you as a parent? Are you sick of them making your kids sicker instead of healthier? Are you sick of them pill pushing or antibiotic pushing? Switch to a naturopath. Ours doesn't even carry the baby poison in the office. Okay, so she calls antibiotics baby poison. Oh. Uh, it's like the opposite of poison. It's supposed to detoxify. Anti yeah. <laughs> no, bacteria is good. Antibiotics are poison. So this naturopathic pediatrician. Uh huh. Is this like a real licensed doctor? Like no, no. The whole idea is that they're not a licensed doctor because licensed doctors are being manipulated by big pharma, obviously. So that's why that's why yeah. they tell you, oh, this antibiotic can save your life. 
they're they're actually lying. What actually is better for you is to just let infections spread through your entire body and po- possibly kill you, yeah. but I mean, at least you won't have been influenced by Big Pharma. That's true. You can die knowing that Big Pharma didn't re- have, have a ring around your neck. The scariest thing about this is that she's not going to let her child have antibiotics. So if while Fern is in the river fucking sucking on rocks and he gets an infection, she is not going to give him any antibiotics to help cure that infection, which I'm like, oh my God. Okay, so now they ask, is your cat vegan? I love this like screen cap right here. (laughs) Is your cat vegan? And it's just a human child. Just a a baby sitting in the river. (laughs) We are a vegan family. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> she she forces her cat to be vegan. But that's like completely opposite of what she believes in because it's not natural. Yeah, the cat-, the cat naturally should eat meat. Yeah. You are forcing the cat to be vegan, which is, uh, according to the Animal Poison Control Center, will kill the cat. All right, this is put a finger down vaccine edition. Put down eight fingers if you're not getting the vaccine. I mean, I think we all saw that coming. I don't think that's a massive surprise at this point. That's the least of my worries <laughs> at this point. She could, she could get COVID and... But yeah, I don't want the baby to get COVID. I just feel so bad for the baby. At this point, I'm like, you can do whatever you want, lady. I don't give a fuck about you. But... Yeah, dude. The baby is so screwed. Um, so this, this, someone is asking, what should women do when they're unable to breastfeed? So this is, you know, this is a, something that can be really difficult for women. And I, I'm sure she has a very, um, very logical response. I'm going to take a wild guess that these women whose bodies are not doing what their bodies are intended to do are not eating high fruit vegan diets. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. When you don't eat your species specific diet, your body does not function properly. Okay, so she says your species specific diet. Yeah. Humans <laughs> are omnivores. <laughs> I, I have nothing wrong with vegans if you, if you morally decide that that's what you want to do. But you can't make the argument that humans aren't like, because we have canine teeth yeah you cannot pretend like it's unnatural to eat meat that's the one argument that you can't make yeah you can say it's you can say it's unethical to eat meat but you can't say it's unnatural yeah but yeah her with absolutely no scientific evidence is just saying well those women who can't breastfeed don't eat enough fucking fruit okay so why do you think you're smarter than scientists and doctors maybe it's because i don't have three hundred thousand dollars and eight years of my time invested into a license that could be revoked at any time if i read the science myself and don't practice medicine the way my heavily pharmaceutical funded med school wants me to so she's saying that she thinks she's smarter because she doesn't have the money she's saying that if med school students read the real science that they'll get kicked out of med school which i i agree that the pharmaceutical industry does exploit people a lot Mm -hmm. but you can't just ignore all the scientific studies that show that things like antibiotics work. I mean, there's a reason we're all alive right now. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why life expectancy has increased from like 40 years to like 80 years. And it's because of things like medicine and antibiotics. Yeah. It's not because of fruit. It's not because of mangoes. Oh no. All right, what's, what sunscreen does she use? You want to make a, take a wild guess what sunscreen Fern uses? I'm, my, my, my wild guess is going to be that she wants her child to have skin cancer. <laughs> That's going to be my wild guess. None. Most sunscreens contain harsh chemicals. Harsh chemicals plus sun equals cancer. Dude, how is this not a joke? <laughs> I have no idea. Dude, you can take one of those two things in that equation out and that'll still work. It's called the sun. The sun equals cancer. It's called UV rays from the sun. We have the, we have all the scientific evidence to prove this. The first thing I do every morning is ground my baby. So how does one ground a baby? Get as much of baby's skin exposed as possible and plop that baby down in its natural environment. Get your baby exposed and just plop it on the ground. Even though according to the American Cancer Society, Clothing is the first line of defense against skin cancer from harmful UV rays. But no, you should just just throw your baby outside on the lawn and get it nice and grounded. Our society is so backwards that we have been taught to fear the sun. The sun, the most natural thing out there. 
the sun is a great thing. It is what gives us fucking life, but it's also like a giant ball of energy that you have to protect yourself from. Just because something is natural doesn't mean it's safe. I don't know, fires are natural, but I'm not gonna go like light a fire and lay in it and be like, this is completely natural. I'm connecting with the fire. Well, if it comes from, if, if it's not uh, chemicals, then, and a fire has no chemicals in it. So yeah, then you'll grow into a big healthy boy. <laughs> big healthy fire boy. All the sunscreen studies I've read showed a drastic decrease in the rate of cancer, which is awesome. But I have to assume these participants led the standard American lifestyle, which is not good. Their bodies are filled with toxic crap. If you show me one double-blind long-term study on the use of sunscreen in unvaccinated babies who have only been fed organic vegan diets, and it shows a reduction in the rate of cancer with no side effects, I'll use it. This is how her mind works. Basically, you can just write off any research by saying, oh, but that was done on vaccinated babies. Yeah. So show me on unvaccinated babies and then maybe I'll listen. And you could do the same thing with vaccines. You could be like, oh, well, but those vaccinated babies wear sunscreen. Yeah. So show me show me a study with some vaccinated babies who don't wear sunscreen and then I'll listen. Who's Who wants to do these full studies that they have already done on normal babies and then suddenly take a bunch of unvaccinated babies that are on the brink of death? <laughs> yeah, all these unprotected unvaccinated babies who you're also going <laughs> to expose to the sun. But yeah, so she's literally admitting that sunscreen reduces the rates of cancer, but she won't believe it because it's only in vaccinated people. Like, what is your perspective? Like, do you think that calling like Child Protective Services would be like the right move or? My view on it is the sooner we can get the baby away from the lady, the better. Yeah. If Child Protective Services can get him away from her, I don't care how upset she is that she lost her toilet baby. Fern needs to go somewhere else. Yeah, just for the for the safety of the baby. Yeah. At this point, I, I can respect some people having different perspectives and beliefs, but when you're to the point where you're just letting your baby eat like wood chips, which are gonna pierce his intestines and not giving him antibiotics to save his life, at that point, I feel like there needs to be some intervention, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so, so my plan is I want to become stronger. I wanna be like Fern. So I am going to go out and live a day in Fern's shoes and see just how strong I can become. Good luck out there. I'm gonna stay in my basement um, where I'm safe. I'll tell you how it goes. Maybe then you can eat some, eat some rocks. I'll bring you some river rocks. Please do. All right, guys, it's time to get strong like baby fern. What are you doing? I have to expose as much of myself to the sun as possible. Are you at least wearing some sunscreen or something? Of course not. Sunscreen is filled with dirty, disgusting chemicals. So, I mean, so is this creek. This creek is nature. This is natural. <sighs> All right, now I just gotta find some rocks to suck. Get the natural bacteria. Feeling stronger already? All right, I'm feeling strong from those rocks. Now I just need to lather myself in some of nature's sunscreen. No, no. Uh, there are a lot of parasites in this water. Nothing to worry about. I pack some blueberries to counteract the parasites. Fruit heals all infections. This is the way nature intended. Now I will ground myself to the earth. Have you seen any uh, animal shit that I could eat? No, we're not doing that. It's natural. These are tough to swallow. Don't swallow it. Spit it out, don't swallow it. The best place in the world to strengthen your immune system? The sewer. Let's drink some sewer water. No, no, stop, no. Ugh. 
Oh, I feel strong. Oh, I feel so strong. Mm. I'm not feeling good, but thankfully, still got some blueberries. Mm. All right, guys, I'm off into the sewer to see if I can find any unvaccinated people who will cough in my mouth. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. I just wanted to say another huge thank you to Nick is Not Green for helping me with the commentary and to Evan Phillips for helping me with the sketch at the end. Me and Nick also made a video on his channel making fun of good old Scotty Sire from the Vlog Squad. I highly recommend going checking that out. I think it turned out really great. Also, I just made a second account. It's called Mrs. Beard. On there, I'm gonna be posting more short form content like the sketches and songs at the end of my commentary videos or just whatever the fuck else I feel like posting. Lastly, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. The growth lately has been pretty insane, and I just want you to know I appreciate you. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. Go fuck yourself. Subscribe to the channel, then go follow my Twitch, and then go check out my Patreon, you stupid bitch.